So UC Davis and other researchers have been working hard on finding out where greenhouse gases are coming from the vineyard and what our sources are. So it's been really interesting to follow their research and to learn that the proper nutrient cycling, putting in cover crops, keeping my soils aerobic are all important practices that I'm doing that are reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the soil. The whole goal of sustainability and using the cover crops is to have a great quality product for the long term. The soil science background I have has been invaluable in the Napa Valley wine industry. I can look at the soils, look at the nutrients the plant needs, and really kind of be a detective finding out what the plant needs to grow best. The more healthy and diverse you have a system, the more balanced you're going to be. So the diversity allows for better soil health, which then improves your vine quality. We pay very close attention to the water in our vineyards. Uh, we monitor the soil water also along with the leaf water potential of the grapevines. The nitrogen cycle becomes very important, especially when you're trying to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions. So if you try to manage your nitrogen by just putting nitrogen on through the drip irrigation, well, once you put the nitrogen on, when that hits the air, there's potential then you can have nitrous oxide go up into the air as greenhouse gases. You have to be very careful to put just enough on so the vines can uptake it. We really prefer to mow um, so that we can have a whole biotic layer, about an inch of the soil, where the grasses are decomposing and you have the soil and the air interaction and that's where all your microbes break down the cover crop and allow the nutrients to recycle in the vines. It allows for a slow release fertilizer for the vines to have so they're growing more uniformly. Um, when we disc, that breaks up um, the whole system and the microbes are affected because they no longer have the source of carbon from the cover crop um, to work. So if we're able to use cover crops and mow the vineyard instead of spend more money disking, that's a great thing. If you're just growing grapevines and disking all the time, then what you really have is a monoculture. All sorts of great things happen when you increase your organic matter. You increase your water holding capacity, you increase your nutrition of the soil, um, you can help buffer your pH so that you don't have um, as many changes in the soil. It's just a much more stable environment. It's important to preserve the magic of the area. The way that is done is by protecting your soil and preserving that, because that is what the basis of everything is. I think you can grow great quality grapes. Napa is a great location. You have climate, soils, water, all the things you need. But to be able to do it for 100, 200, 300 years, we need to have this great balance in the ecosystem. And we do that by having cover crops, by limiting our monocultures, and by no tillage.